Team Associates showing some more love to the Dirt Oval community. Just a few weeks ago, they released the SR10M build-up kit, which was a nice upgrade from the SR10 that they had previously, which was a rear motor car. Now it's a mid motor car with revisions to it, which should really help it out on the track. And now they have a ready to run version, the one that you see here. I'm really excited to get into it. It's built, painted, electronics installed, and once you see under the hood, I think you're gonna be surprised. Here's the SR10M ready to run out of the box, and it's a great looking release from Team Associated. They've had this body before, I'm guessing very Monte Carlo inspired, uh, but I really like the colors. And the orange is actually all decals. The body's painted blue, and everywhere you see orange, that's a decal, even the silver stripes. I like that they've got clear windows on here. The body's held on with four body clips like a usual racing body, uh, but very cool shape for a street sock style car. All right, let's pull this off because we need to take a look at the inside. And right off the bat, it is a SR10M and it looks exactly like the kit version. I was really pleasantly surprised with this. This is very cool that they did that. You know, usually we're used to watered down versions when it comes to a ready to run, but they gave us all the good stuff in this one. So let's start off up front. You got the large front bumper, like these body posts. I haven't seen these from Associated before. It looks like they're easily adjustable if you switch out the bodies. Then you get into the Associated style front end uh, components that we've seen before. The shock tower, the gull wing arms, uh, the front brace, and the, the lower front plate, all composite material. Then you've got their uh, racing style outboard suspension parts like the caster block and steering knuckle. And I say racing like because you could go and adjust the spindle height with this. So you go and tune the suspension, which is what you're going to want out of a dirt oval race car. They also gave us turnbuckles, washers underneath the ball stud. Unfortunately, they don't give you the other washer sizes in the kit, so you're gonna have to go pick that up as one of their aftermarket option parts. But then look at this, we've got threaded aluminum shock bodies on it with the, the blue aluminum threaded collars. How cool is that? They are composite caps and uh, no, I don't feel any bleed or screw on these, but uh, at least they gave us the threaded aluminum shock bodies. That's very cool. The large spring perches on the bottom and uh, they're oil filled. Then let me spin this back around to the uh, rear suspension. You got the aluminum threaded shock bodies on it. You've got their swept arms in the uh, adjustable turnbuckles, heavy duty outer hubs. And what I like is they went and carried over the rear pivot blocks. So the C and D blocks are machined aluminum and they have the inserts on the inside. And then right in front of it, you're gonna notice this riser plate here, this rear bulkhead plate, and uh, that is machined aluminum. Then mounted right up above it is a carbon fiber rear tower. Again, a ready to run with carbon fiber parts on it. That's just very cool. And then I'm gonna show you the uh, the waterfall. The waterfall is actually machined aluminum and then it's got a carbon fiber brace plate over to the uh, the transmission case. So, it, you know, basically if you wanted to get the SR10M uh, kit and didn't want to build it up, wanted to go racing right away, this is really a great option. Check out this chassis. It's a G10 fiberglass flat plate, but they've got the carbon fiber stiffening plates. They've got the aluminum post for that. And then it uses the O-ring straps to hold down the battery pack. You are gonna need a shorty style battery pack to power this thing. Moving forward in the chassis, they've got the twin bell crank steering set up, ball bearings in that and in the Ackerman bar, and even a metal servo horn on the servo. Bulked up for us, nice quality components that we're seeing throughout this kit. Uh, back to the transmission now, it's their multi-gear setup. It's got the racing dual pad separate clutch, the sealed heavy duty gear differential in it, and then CV axles out to the, the wheels. And you can see they even etched the size of the axle on there, full ball bearings throughout. So yeah, really awesome for a ready to run dirt oval car. And then into the electronics, it's got a Reedy Metal Gear High Torque Servo, uh, Fly Sky again with the radio system. Looks like they're just switching all their stuff over to those Fly Sky gear. And then a Hobbywing WP10BL60, uh, not the 80 there, but it does have a T plug on it. It's got a Hobbywing fan on top. And then to power this thing, a uh, 3300 kV motor, a uh, Reedy motor. And as you can see, it's a sensorless motor. Just really quickly, also inside the box, you're going to get the Fly Sky radio system that, again, we've been seeing these in associated kits that works well instruction manual and then this little bag of parts it's got your suspension inserts and it looks like a couple ball studs hexes and some screws because they also give you transmission risers in here so it looks like you go adjust the height of the transmission that's awesome too so much good stuff for the guys that are going to go racing with the sr10m now we got to see perform i'm headed up to rc excitement in massachusetts to hit up their dirt oval
Time to walk you through a few laps with the car and I made a few tweaks to it since I took it out of the box. One of them was just making sure that it went straight. You're gonna have to tweak the trim just a little bit uh, if your car's not going straight out of the box. I also went and back down on the dual rate a little bit because it was just steering way too much. Dropping back on the dual rate will just help you make those corners nice and smooth. But the car's looking pretty good right out of the box. I made a few tweaks to the spring preload as well. But man, once the rear end washes out, you're in for a ride on this one. And then getting back into the groove, but it takes a little bit for me to get going again. There we go. This car's got plenty of rip on the 2S pack. Almost, uh, almost hitting full throttle on the straights. I think these tires actually like a drier surface. The far corner with the sun goes fine through that corner, but the uh, corner with the shade that's a little bit damp, that's where it wants to spin out. Yeah, definitely like spinning out in that corner. So the more I run this car, the more I think the tires are breaking in. It's definitely starting to grip a lot better. I'm able to get a little bit more speed out of it. A few little tweaks, this car will be dialed. So the one thing I forgot to go over when talking about the car before was the tires. So it has Team Associated Street Stock rubber tires on it, foam inserts, and it's on their Street Stock style wheels. And I think tires is going to be the biggest factor when you go out and drive this thing. Uh, when I first took it out, the track was very damp, and going into the corners, it would just spin out. But as the track started to dry out, the car just started to hook up more, and I think the tires were breaking in. Um, it was just one corner was still under the trees, and so that corner was a little damp, and that's where I had a, a problem. It would still spin out. So I wasn't able to lay down some consistent laps until everything really started to dry out. And I think when you go to drive this car, tires is going to be the biggest factor. What tires were work best for your track. That's what you're gonna have to figure out. The other concern I have for someone just running it ready to run out of the box is, is the motor. Is your track gonna run the 3300 kV motor or are they gonna want a 17.5 or a 13.5 with it? I, I think it's gonna be pretty easy for you to get set up. Maybe you're just gonna have to do some oil changes, little changes to the shocks, maybe add a little bit of weight to it. But overall, I think it's a really good car. I like that they've gone to the mid-motor platform. The uh, chassis seems to be solid. I like that you could uh, adjust the transmission height on it. It's just really exciting to see Team Associated support the, the dirt oval community with the, either the kit version or this ready to run version. I'll have links for it in the video description below.